So how does this all work? Does a CEO wake up one day and decide they want to build a new business and so they give you a call? Hold on, my phone's ringing. I'm kidding. That's not how this works, Lauren. If only that works that way. Look, our client CEOs have great aspirations. They're always looking at what's going to drive the next S-curve of growth. But it's seldom that they could envision that a venture could deliver that. And we have an obligation to show them what is the art of the possible. For example, if you're an industrial company, you could think about moving away from the physical product and driving more stickiness through a you know, subscription model that gets paid for performance. You could be a healthcare provider who wants to get into digital health and telemedicine. You could be a payment provider who would want to go downstream and get into e-commerce for all, all we want. Right? You, you get the drift. It's like there's a recurring theme, yes. Uh, each time they're building on their corporate endowments, those competitive advantages that they have, the moats, they're using the data, the channel, their distribution, and their customer base to build that new business model and drive their next S-curve of growth. You're spot on, but there is a method to this. And in that are two key components. And both of them have significant issues in the way the market's approaching it today. And that's where we come in. We say that there is a clear anatomy for the entire business and we need to think through it in a comprehensive way. Then there is this notion in the market that people think about this as digital transformation or tech transformation. Neither of that can be applied to the system. We got to take the venture building way and we got to talk about both of those in detail. I'm glad there's a method to the madness. Uh, sounds like I'm signing up for a masterclass. I wouldn't have it any other way, Lauren. Bring it on.